Have you ever just wanted to drop everything, escape your troubles, and take a road trip? Well, in the new movie, The Leisure Seeker, that fantasy actually becomes a reality for a couple of free-thinking rebels, Dame Helen Mirren and Donald Sutherland. They play Ella and John Spencer, a couple grappling with the ails of age and illness. Take a look. So what are you reading now? You know, you're reading now Ernest I can't Hemingway. believe anything, dear. Yeah, this is short stories, but... You know, I start a sentence, mm -hmm. and by the time I get to the end of it... Mm -hmm. Can't I, remember how it started. Mm -hmm. Dame Helen and Donald, good morning to both of you. <laughs> good morning. That was a very, very serious clip, but this movie has everything in it. You guys are on the road in an RV, so we decided to kind of deck the place out for you. What this do you is, think? This what do you is think? exactly like it. <laughs> this is exactly yeah. like it. Yeah. All right, it's you guys You guys play a pair of like white haired rebels. You are on the road, you're playing these independent folks. Describe this role. This isn't your typical sort of grandmotherly role or grandfatherly <laughs> role. Describe that for us. Well, you know, this is a couple who, um, who've who gone through having families. They've, you know, their kids are growing up. They've got grandkids. They're growing up. And, uh, and they're both struggling with major um, physical ailments. And so they decide to take their final road trip as a couple They've took road trips in the past. Mm -hmm. um, they've still got the same RV that they that they had. Their very first RV. They still have it. It's from the 70s, you mm -hmm. know. So they decide to take a trip in this RV, and and it's a, it's the ultimate sort of bucket list, I guess, kind mm -hmm. of thing. Um, it's a it's a final trip for the two of them, um, and they're confronting these major um, medical issues. But the film is comedic. It's, it, it, it's looked at with a with a, a very sort of high level of comedy. I like how you guys described it. Um, you described it as I think if I'm right, the pursuit of dignity. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that, Donald. Me yeah. tell you about pursuit of dignity. Well, just what, just what, it's what I've been yeah. pursuing all my life. I never found it. The, uh, You're an actor. I yes, never did. No, what it. can you do? Um, <laughs> no, they, they they wanted to to be together. Yeah. To fulfill a, a dream of his, which was to go to Hemingway's house in mm -hmm. Key West, which was pretty disappointing for them, both of them. Mm -hmm. um, but just and he didn't, you know, because he had a couple of mm -hmm. he had a couple of problems a couple of issues. Yeah. <laughs> he, he couldn't remember some stuff well the the chemistry between you two is undeniable if I were just you know watching this thing I would think a lot of it seems like it was you two ad-libbing improvising having fun was was there we some did. of that yeah you we, felt we, it. we we improvised. Did. I did. yeah you you know, did. I stuck straight to this script. You're such a lie. <laughs> <laughs> You two, this isn't the first time you've worked together, right? Do you remember the, the first film you guys were? It was 30 I, years ago. It was, indeed. Uh, it was a film called Bethune, um, uh, and Donald was the starring role. Look, and look, look. He was, oh my God. Oh, look at you guys look. back then. What do you think when you look at these, uh, these clips of this 30 years I ago? I haven't seen that for like years. Oh, look, that's when I hit you. Do you remember I hit you? Well, you're going to see it, I think. I'm going to see it. Off. Please. It was terrible. Uh, yeah. I, I was so technically idiotic. I <laughs> hit him so hard that yeah. it was, it was uh, it, really, I was so embarrassed. It was terrible. How come it took 30 years for you two to work together again? It well, seems she like hit me really hard. He said, no, for the next 20, 30 years, he said, no, take her off the list. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> Helen, you've always been like a little bit of a rebel anyway. I mean, her? you play a rebel. Yes, Completely don't you think? Completely and utterly. Yeah, I mean, I think you oh, were really. ahead of Hollywood. Um, just you, when we talk about your personality and speaking out when I think a lot of women didn't, you just you just sort of went in the driver's seat and did it any way you wanted. Uh, I guess, yeah. you know, I mean, uh, the trouble is, if it, you... If, if, if people aren't listening, it doesn't matter how much you talk. Yeah. If the culture is such that people won't listen, you know, you're, you're just talking into the void. Nothing, nothing comes back at you. That's you really need, smart. You need the culture to change. Mm -hmm. and, and I always think, um, in my wisdom of old age, I've come to understand that what people ascribe 
to nature is actually cultural mm -hmm. and the culture can change. They make it out as if that's nature. It's just how we are as human beings. No. You can't change that. It's natural. But no, it's not. And do you really it's feel cultural. that change? Do you feel it, it's happening? Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely, yeah. All right. Well, you guys are such fun, and your this movie is a lot of fun. I want to thank you both for coming to see us. It's called The Leisure Seeker. It opens March the 9th. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there, and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.